So congratulations are in order, honey, to Miss Melody Cherie. The judge grants Melody's motion, honey. I know that's right. Make sure you like this video as you are coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The people are excited, honey. <laughs> Another person put, Mel wins her order to strike down parts of Narc <laughs> Narktail's recent court order. <laughs> Not Narktail. I am so impressed with all the different names y'all did uh came up with for Martel hook headed narcissistic hope, honey. Okay. <laughs> Narktail. Okay, y'all. So let's get into all of this again. Love and Marriage Huntsville star Melody Sheree Rogers secures another victory in her long-standing custody battle with ex-husband Martel hook-headed narcissistic Holt. I added that. <laughs> As previously reported, Martel Holt was ordered by the Alabama judge to receive a psychological evaluation immediately. Look, immediately. Attend family counseling sessions with his kids and pay Melody Cherie's attorney fees. Martel has until the next court hearing to comply with the order not to lose custody and visitation rights. So now that's what he was supposed to do despite this order. It appears Martel is still woefully disobeying orders. Instead, he filed, y'all know that motion, which was dismissed, right? He filed his motion disregarding the order and wanted the courts to hear allegations of misbehavior on Melody's part and to hold her in contempt of court. And Martel's claims include the following allegations. Melody allows the children to visit and stay with her mother, Vanessa Tracy, without giving him the first right of refusal. Melody won't give Martel's Vanessa's contact information claims Melody allowed their two oldest children to drive her motor vehicle. Melody uses corporal punishment on their youngest daughter and claims Melody has a romantic relationship with her security personnel who is married. Okay. So we know that Martel came up with all of this to get out of being found guilty of the domestic violence harassing communications, okay? So yeah, just a mess, but it was all thrown out. Yeah, he's trying to deflect, deny, like, child, you're going to jail, you're going to jail, okay? I am so glad I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here. And speaking of which, honey, I need to check out Potomac. Listen, are y'all watching Real Housewives of Potomac? But anyways, honey, I want to give a congratulations to my girl, Miss Melody Cherie. You keep your foot on this man neck, sis. Out here trying to make your life a living hell. He don't like that you living your best life. Okay. Okay, let's see what the people think about this. So one person says, I'm happy for her. She deserves peace from that nut job and wish her nothing but the best. Another person says, when is the judge going to send the sheriff to escort this fool to his psych evaluation? I know that's right. He just need to just put him in cuffs already. Damn, why y'all take all long to arrest these niggas? Get them on out of here. Another person says, Martel is so bitter. Martel is so unhinged yes he is okay a mess a fool of a mess another person says why did he just divorce her i think they mean why didn't he just divorce her peacefully he was the one that was cheating see that's how it is when you're with a narcissist they will accuse you of doing the very damn things that they do <laughs> Okay, so the way he's behaving, you would have thought it was Melody out here, you know, cheating on him, creeping around with a neighbor or something, honey. You would have really thought that, but no, it was him that did her wrong, but that's how they are. That's how narcissists are. They have to punish you, okay, for the things that they've did to you. It's, it's really weird, but yeah, he wants to keep her in a burning house. Um, and he wants to sabotage her life. 
Okay, he wants to stagnate her. He don't like that she out here making money, moving and shaking without him. Okay, and he will use those children to do so. So he don't love them because when you love your children, you don't use them to accommodate your bullshiggity. Okay, so I, I suggest that the bitch go get the psych evaluation and get his ass home down the road. Go check yourself into somebody's hospital because, sir, you are not well. And I ain't talking about you need a damn COVID test. You just are not well, period. Okay, and take the rest of the niggas on the show with you. Okay, because they ain't no damn good either. Um, he was the one that was cheating. He was the one that had the side chick. He was the one that made a baby on his wife. What in the world is his problem? He just can't let go. He should have thought about that before he got with coleslaw. I believe he is losing his mind. I think she should have security. She needs security. When you're dealing with a crazy nigga like him, you need security. Okay. Okay, so really quickly, we're going to end this video on a mental health note. I'm going to talk to you about inner child wounds. So if you have an abandonment wound, that means you feel left out, you fear being left, you hate being alone, you're codependent, you always threaten to leave, or normally attract emotionally unavailable people. Guilt wound feels sorry or bad, doesn't like to ask for things, uses guilt to manipulate, is afraid to set boundaries, normally attracts people who make them feel guilty. Trust wound is afraid to be hurt, doesn't trust themselves, finds ways to not trust people, feels insecure and needs lots of external validation, doesn't feel safe, and normally attracts people who don't feel safe. You have a neglect wound. If you struggle to let things go, have low self-worth, gets angry easily, struggles to say no, represses emotions, fears being vulnerable, normally attracts people who don't appreciate them or make them feel seen, okay? And on that note, honey, we are out. I will check you guys out in the next video.